Are you looking for information on how to install a commercial or whole house reverse osmosis system? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. If this is your first visit to our YouTube channel, welcome. If you click the link um, at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, that's our subscribe button. It'll take you right to our YouTube channel. We've got hundreds of water treatment videos on there. Tons of information that'll help you and your family with your water, with your concerns about your water. Also, I really encourage you to watch this video right to the end. I'm going to have a link to a pl my playlist that's going to have all my commercial and whole house reverse osmosis videos all together. You can check them out there. And by the way, if you haven't seen any of my commercial or whole house reverse osmosis videos, I definitely click, suggest you click the link up here. That's going to take you right to my overview video, and there's lots of information there, but you should really have seen that before you go we go talk about what we're going to talk about here today. So at this stage of the installation process, your pretreatment should already be in, your tanks should already be in, um, your ultraviolet after your reverse osmosis system should already be in. So this is sort of the final stages of the whole process. We offer discount pricing and free shipping on the full line of Vectamax reverse osmosis uh, systems. Just click the link up here, it'll take you right to our e-commerce website. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put a 5 micron pre-filter inside here. And then what you're going to want to do is, is make the connection here, the, the water line going into the filter housing. This will take up to one inch plumbing going into it. We've got three quarter inch here, but either one will work fine. And then you can put uh, the arrester goes on here, and then you run this water line up to here. And that, and that um, gives you information to the pressure gauge of what the pressure is before the filter. So this is uh, connected with a John Guest type quick connect fitting. If you're not sure how to use quick connect fittings, just click the link up here. It'll take you right to our uh, YouTube, a YouTube video that explains exactly how they work, how to connect them, and also how to disconnect them. All right, so once you've connected all that up, then you can start up the water. Don't start up the system yet, just turn the water on. And you're gonna check for leaks. So, and you're also going to want to push this little red button up here, and that's going to release any air that's in, built up inside this filter housing. You'll also notice that there's four bolts on the, on the frame of the reverse osmosis system, and those are leveling feet. So at this point, you want to make sure that you level the whole system front to back and side to side. Um, that's very important uh, before we go any further. So at this point, you should start seeing some things uh, happening on the gauges. So the pre-filter gauge, the, the uh, pre-filter pressure will should be showing here. The post-filter pressure will be showing here. Basically, the difference between the two is if the filter is clogged or not. So now you're going to want to open the recycle valve all the way to the left. Once you've opened that, you can push the button and turn the system on. And so you're going to want to let it run for about five minutes with this valve all the way open. And that's going to uh, clean everything up, get rid of uh, any of the air that's in the system and that. Once you've run that for five minutes, then for the 2400 and 4800 gallon per day system, you start to turn this down till it gets to very slowly until it gets to 130 PSI. That's where the, these systems operate. For the larger system, the 72 and the 9600 gallon per day system, you're going to turn this till it goes to 140 PSI. Whatever you do, don't run either one of them anything above 150 PSI. Once you've got that operating at the correct uh, pressure, then you're gonna let it run for about three hours. And what that's doing, that's flushing the membrane. So that's wastewater for the first three hours. After three hours, you can start to check the TDS. Either if you've gone for the optional TDS meter, you can show it here. You can show the in and the out. Or you can do it with a hand type uh, TDS meter comparing the two. And then you can fill your tanks and then you're good to go. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd also really appreciate it if you could share this video with your Facebook friends. For some more information, you can go to thewatereastore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. If you click up here, top right hand corner, that'll take you right to my playlist, commercial and whole house reverse osmosis videos. Lots of information there for you. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for watching.